Okay. You okay? You say good morning, good morning, Ryan. Say good morning, Margaret. Ryan. No, we don't want to say good morning. Today is eggs and bacon day. Eggs. Tomorrow is oatmeal day, okay? Tomorrow is oatmeal day. Then I open the day. It's eggs and bacon, Maya. I know it's eggs and bacon, but tomorrow is oatmeal. Good morning, people. Today is Tuesday, February 6th. 7th. And it's another beautiful day in the Bradley household. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you along. Don't forget to like, thumbs up this video. Um, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever we drop in a new video. Um, which I'm trying to do some daily vlog and things. So hopefully it's kind of like every day. Um, we edit a video. Yeah, I know. When is that channel coming? Um, not today. Yeah, no. we'll see. Anyway, though, on the agenda for the day. Um, uh, is Orange Theory. Got an Orange Theory class today at 10 a.m. Uh, push back our little workout time because I do got to still get my, my classes in for Orange Theory. I'm actually considering dropping my Orange Theory membership. Um, I we had a trip planned for Jamaica before all this stuff already happened. So I'm thinking I'll probably finish out my membership this month. Do it one more month next month, just because we're going to be going to Jamaica. So I might as well use that up. And then after we get back from Jamaica, I'm probably going to be canceling my Orange Theory membership. Just until things, um, you know, kind of settle out. Can use that extra hundred bucks in a bevy of different ways. So anyway, but right now, me and Queese are, where are we going, Queese? Where are we about to go? Um, grandma. Grandma house. What grandma having for breakfast this morning? French toasted because he tried to eat my French toasted. What's, what are we having for breakfast? Um, big dough. Eggs and, oh, you ate Morgan's French toast? Yeah. What you having at grandma's house? Um, um, eggs and? Eggs. Bacon. I don't know why that is. Oh my God. Eggs and bacon day. No. All right, let's get out of here. Grace, you ready to go to grandma's? Yeah. What are we gonna do at grandma's today? Uh, eat Who? Eat, 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 eat. Oh, eat eggs and bacon? I can do that. You gonna have fun? Play with friends? Let's do it. All right, guys, so I made it home. Uh, I always try, like on these days where I try to get out the house early, I don't try to get home quick enough time to be able to see the girls go to the bus stop and get on the bus because I just like to see my kids get out the door besides um and they are excited to see us most of the time and just kind of just like a mom and a person and then I mean, she's standing at this door every single day she's like upset if she misses them walk out even after a long day of morning of yelling at them or fussing at them so they can get in the house so but she be more on it than I be Long. Yes. <laughs> so, but they are on their way out the door. Well, on their way to school. So. Why do you stay away with them? Huh? Why do you stay away with them? Huh? Uh, so, let's get this morning going. Well, it's already gone, but let's get it, keep it moving. Need to try to find a job. So. 
one of, I didn't tell you guys about my update about last week's interview. Um, I thought it went really well. I shouldn't say I thought it went really well. It actually did go really well. Um, recruiter loved me. Actually, the hiring manager, I don't know if I told you guys this, but actually the hiring manager actually was the one who found me on LinkedIn and told the recruiter to reach out to me. So, interview went well. Um, she loved me. She like, I'm definitely recommending you for a interview. Um, asked me a couple of follow-up questions. Should I get everything looks great? Everything sounds great. Only hang up I have, not that I have. She said, I don't have a problem with it, but I'm not sure um, if my HR business partner, where she aligns with this, is um, the job description called for a four-year degree. Which you guys know, I only have my associates in nursing. Um, and she's like, I don't know if that's going to be a problem because you have so much experience. She's like, I don't think it should be, but I don't know. She's like, but I'll get back to you. So we're off to the gym. You ready? So get this man steering in. I love being a good runner. Haven't been able to really run because of this. Um, knee situation situation but um yeah we are about to oh we are about to go get my run on i am actually enjoy running when i don't have to do it all the time um so let's head to ot all right sorry camera died actually then left once y'all saw me go to the gym and now I'm back to finish the rant that I was on before the camera died. Uh, so anyway, what I was saying is some of the frustration I've been running into in the market while doing interviewing. Actually, just got another phone call from a recruiter speaking to them. Really liked me. Talked back in again with their manager, their uh, uh, HR department, uh, or I should say whoever making the recs. And requirement of um, experience versus a four-year degree. And... Again, I was told that I need a four-year bachelor's degree. Um, regardless of how much experience I have, regardless of how great my resume looks, regardless of how much knowledge I have in the job, in that job, they still want a four-year bachelor's degree. Which I think, to me, and I maybe it's just sour grapes because um, I'm the one dealing with it, but I think it's crazy to get this degree. Um, in lieu of actually somebody who actually has the experience to do the job, in lieu of somebody who actually has performed the job, you just need this four-year degree, which I think is crazy. Again, it could just be sour grapes on my end because I'm the one dealing with this stuff, but whatever. So, like I was saying before, I spoke to them. They told me, and I just spoke to another one who just kind of told me the exact same thing. Um, yeah, so... Uh, like I said, semi-frustrating, not semi-frustrating, very frustrating, but nonetheless, we push on, because what this is telling me is that I'm getting noticed, um, people definitely see my skill set and are intrigued by the skill set, I think the narrow-mindedness to an extent of the generation before me hasn't really caught up with the generation where we are in this need for a degree or have to have a degree mindset still lingers. So it is what it is. I told myself I was going to be kind to myself throughout this journey and just keep pushing. I'm not going to let this thing deter, deter me or frustrate me too much because obviously it can be irritating. It can be very frustrating, especially when you hear, oh, you're very great. Your resume looks great. You got all the skills that we are looking for in this role, but oh, you only got a two-year degree. So, I am about to work on my YouTube stuff, get a vlog ready for you guys for tomorrow or today, and um, keep pushing throughout the day. So, I would. Alright, so, here go the deal. If I'm cooking dinner again, then you need to go get the kids. Both set of kids. I wasn't planning on leaving the house. Okay, I mean, that's fine with me. Let me just cook dinner. I'm gonna 
Look at you. I know you will. <laughs> All right, people. It is 3.21 in the afternoon. Um, and we are rolling through the day. I just uploaded my vlog, which you guys will see today. I'm talking about it. You guys will see this vlog tomorrow. So, I'm trying to do this daily vlogging thing. I told you guys I would do. So, uh, been a productive day. Actually, you guys saw me go to Orange Theory earlier. Now, I'm behind on Orange Theory because of the gout situation y'all know I was dealing with. So I've been doing like, I gotta probably get like three or four Orange Theory classes in over the next couple of days, but still wanna get my strength training in. So I'm doubling up on a couple of these days. And today is one of those double up days. So I'm about to go to my normal gym and get in a push workout. So I'm about to go get that done. And as you guys heard, I've been tasked with cooking dinner. Technically in the Bradley household, it's supposed to be like a, a three and three, maybe even a two and three type of deal where two other the nights nice during the week, we do some fast food or make something quick or make the kids pizza and another, you know, we kind of like look out for each other. I don't know. Mrs. Bradley ain't, ain't been feeling the cooking thing these past few days, past few weeks, couple weeks, I think say a few weeks, a couple weeks. So, um, yeah, she didn't cook last night. She don't, she said she was going to cook tonight. She didn't cook anything. Last night. I cooked last night. Oh, yeah, I did. I was cooking. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> and then she's like, she's talking from another room, y'all. She cooked Sunday. She cooked one time last week. And then she go ration it by, she go ration it by saying, she go cook, she go ration it by saying, she cooked Monday and Sunday. She cooked Monday of the week prior and Sunday of this week. And gonna say, oh, the week run. The week. The weeks run Monday to Sunday now. In a seven-day period, I cooked <laughs> cook like three times last week. But it's all good. We all good. It's love. It's getting taken care of. Her whole ration, she was like, you cook steaks better. And I cook real because we, we bought steak at the store when we went grocery shopping. So I'm like, you know what, baby? It's cool. I know that's the only thing that's unthawed in the freezer, refrigerator right now, steak. So I make the agreement because technically I would have went to the gym. Left the gym at like five, went and grabbed the girls, went and grabbed Queese, came on home. She would have cooked dinner. But she want me to cook, she gonna go get them kids. So the girls are at We Care, um, which is like an after school program where they get to kind of just hang out. It's technically used for parents who can't get to their kids after school. We work from home or we at home now, so technically the girls don't need to go, but it's, it gives them something to do. They love it. Uh, so we allow them to go to it. So she gonna go pick them up from there and then go get Queese from Ma's house. She, that's a, she, for CC, that's a lot of running. So, <laughs> um, but she's gonna do that if she wants me to cook. So I'm headed to the gym. Oh, great news, guys. I feel like I'm gonna have this. We just gotta, we, we keep getting here and then we gotta get past that. So great news, I did get, after I told you guys the rough news I heard earlier from the two employers, um, actually got some good news. Got another interview set up for Thursday. So they coming. Like me and CC talked and she, you know, CC be trying to keep me in good spirits. Like, oh, I told her, I'm good. I'm all right. I'm good. But obviously, like I told you guys earlier, companies are recognizing me. They seeing it. Now we just got to knock one of these people down and get one of these hiring managers to come up off that BS that they own when it comes to these four year degrees. And I recognize the experience and talent that I'm bringing to the table. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, we got an interview on Thursday. We actually got another interview tomorrow also. That's um, at, was it, 2.30 uh, in the afternoon. So we got two interviews set up over these next couple of days. Good vibes. So just got to knock one of these people out, uh, one of these things out. So wish me good luck, good vibes. But right now, time to refocus this energy and get off to this gym. So I will talk to you guys in a little while. Um, I'm home cooking this steak dinner. Probably gonna do steak, the typical steak, potatoes, some kind of salad, and um, go from there. So, let's go.
fat man. Come here. You playing soccer? Kick it, yo. Oh no, I missed it. Um, I am about to go ahead and get over here and get dinner started. Like I was telling you guys earlier, we're having some steak, potatoes, and salad for dinner. So, I'm gonna get down here, get these sweats off, and get dinner started. All right, guys, a little later, but not much later. But we got the potatoes cut up, so boiling some potatoes. CC can't have the salad without an egg. So, we got an egg boiling. We got steak in the oven. Looking good, smelling good. So, um, yeah. And, um, like I told y'all, so, like I told y'all, the dinner menu is steak, potatoes, and salad. So, good, good, good. Feeling good. Great workout, great second workout. Um, yeah, feeling good, feeling great. So, let's get into this evening. You girls have a good day at school? Huh? Yeah. Have a good week here? Uh, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, I sound like I'm a bother on them, so. Anyway, get to this the dinner. I was just saying yesterday how I never remember to plate the food and show you guys, but this is what dinner looks like tonight. Y'all just heard me fussing at Ryan. The child, don't, I don't know, is it just our kid? Like, this child will try no food. Like, unless it's fast food, which really makes me mad. Like, cause me and CC sometimes just don't feel like cooking, so we buy fast food. Like, she will eat everything fast food, but won't even attempt to eat home cooked meals. It really, like, pisses me off. Like, to the point where I wanna buy Fast food, and I'm thinking about doing that. Like, I'm really tempted to start buying fast food for me and CC, and then still making them eat whatever we cook at home because it's really irritating me. Like, she's gonna start eating hot dogs or something. Like, we're just gonna be done with fast food because, like, she refuses to try anything. All right, done. I'm on my hot, done being on my hot We got steak, potatoes, little salad, little ranch dressing with some cheese and bacon bits in there, little potatoes with some cheese and bacon bits on there. I'm only eating half that steak, way too much steak, but these steaks were like, it was a four pack at BJ's for 30 bucks of um, strip, New York strips. And they look really good, hoping they taste as good as they look. So, I'm about to smash this.
All right, everybody. So that is the end of my night. It is eight, a little like eight ten, eight fifteen. It's in the eight o'clock round. Day was full. Um, again, productive. Got things done. Dinner cooked. Um, good vibes about the interview perspectives. You see, see, see. I think that you probably you guys ain't seen her, huh? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I be here. I just be working. Yeah. Oh, you trying to say I don't be working? I mean, we, we, <laughs> no. Whatever. <laughs> no, we all um, we all in good positive spirits. If you guys ain't noticed, crack jokes. We are very beyond optimistic about um, my future. So, um, I think everybody else around us is more down about where we are right now than where we actually are right now. So, um. Again, got a lot of things done today. Um, tomorrow will be just as jam-packed. I'm debating on if I'm going to pick up the camera or not. We'll see. Probably will. Like I said, a like I said I'm, I'm trying the daily vlog thing on. I just don't want to bore y'all. So, we'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, that is going to do it for tonight's vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright, I lied to y'all about being done. So, it's about... A little after midnight, sitting here watching Mr. James. Um, Y'all know we from Ohio. We from Cleveland. So, um, yeah, I've watched LeBron James play basketball. He literally played his high school basketball games at the university I played football at. Um, and he's two points away from breaking the all-time record for most points in NBA history. So, I had told CeCe we were staying up to watch it tonight, and he just <laughs> broke it. <laughs> there you go. So, Alexa, turn the volume up. First shot. Now, I'm going to bed. See you guys tomorrow.